New 2019 Mercedes B-Class shows MPV isn't dead. New Mercedes B-Class to arrive within two years and will be based on the A-Class platform. Our exclusive images show how it could look. Mercedes is pushing ahead with a new version of its B-Class, attempting to buck the trend of buyers who've been turning away from MPVs and towards SUVs. Several key mainstream makers have abandoned the MPV market altogether, preferring to focus resources on developing wider ranges of SUVs. But Mercedes and BMW believe that there are still useful customer numbers, enough to justify the development costs of fresh people carriers. Best MPVs on sale right now The new B-Class is expected in 2019, following the launch of its sister vehicle, the new A-Class, which sits on a heavily revised version of the car's MFA platform. When asked whether it was worth continuing with an MPV in the lineup, Mercedes board member for sales and marketing, Britta Seeger, told Auto Express, We have the B-Class and we will continue with it. Absolutely. Do we have doubts we should not do this? No. The B-Class is a very respected product. And by having more and more competitors in this segment, it shows it's still a segment we should go for. Yes, we should have SUVs of this size as well. Previewed by our exclusive images, the new B-Class will adopt design cues from the upcoming A-Class such as slimmer LED headlamps. Bigger changes are due beneath the skin as the new platform opens up the possibility of plug-in hybrid technology for the first time, while new petrol and diesel engines will join the range. As with the current car, there will only be five seats, Auto Express understands the forthcoming GLB SUV will cater for those who need seven. Seeger added, as far as trends go, the SUV trend works if you are looking at certain areas of the world. But there are other areas where they are looking at different types of model. The B-Class's most obvious rival is the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer, a revamped version of which was recently revealed. It sells around 100,000 examples per year, and is viewed as the leader of the premium MPV segment. BMW considers its only MPV an important vehicle because around four-fifths of the people who buy the Active Tour are new to the brand. There's no indication that the third German premium brand, Audi, is about to join its rivals offering an MPV, and the overall market for this type of vehicle is still in decline. But the renewed commitment from BMW and Mercedes is perhaps a reflection of the fact that MPVs could be relatively easy vehicles to adapt for electrification, and that their practical nature may also help them to play a role in the growing market for ride-sharing in some countries. Do you think there is still a market for MPVs? Let us know in the comments section below.